Joe Biden wearing a suit and tie, President Biden during a meeting with Latino leaders in the state dining room of the White House on Tuesday. Associated Press Copyright Provided by the LA Times President Biden during a meeting with Latino leaders in the state dining room of the White House on Tuesday. The Biden administration on Tuesday announced a new two-month federal moratorium on evictions to replace the broader one that expired over the weekend. The new moratorium would take effect in areas where COVID-19 has been on the rise and last through October 3, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said. The moratorium applies to counties facing higher substantial levels of the coronavirus and is estimated to cover about 90 percent of the U.S. population. Without a federal moratorium in place, millions of Americans who fell behind on their rent during the pandemic faced eviction, depending on the patchwork of state policies. California's state eviction moratorium currently lasts until September 30th. In a statement, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky called the moratorium the right thing to do to keep people in their homes and out of settings where COVID-19 can spread. Such mass evictions and the attendant public health consequences would be very difficult to reverse, she said. Biden previously said he did not have legal authority to renew the moratorium himself, and asked Congress to act. He said Monday he was still unsure if the new ban would pass constitutional muster and constitutional scholars said it might not. But the president said that it would at least help Americans temporarily. By the time it gets litigated, it will probably give some additional time, Biden said. Video please do subscribe All Media New York.